All right, I got something a little bit different for you this morning. I told you I was going to do a, a oil analysis on the 5W30 Shell Rotella. But I also told you guys, I was like, well, let's throw, let's, let's throw something in there as well. Let's throw the 2,000 miles that was on the original oil in this Mercury Grand Marquis when I bought it. That oil been in there for well over four years. From what I'm understanding, probably close to six years. Four years for sure, but the two years before that, the lady that drove the car never really drove it because she was getting to the point where she really just couldn't drive. It was harder for her to pull in the garage without hitting things and stuff like that. So I was like, we have a 5,000 mile oil on the 5W30 that's, you know, been run two and a half months. We can get a good, we can get good numbers on that. That came out of the, the town car. But this new Grand Marquis, how cool would it be if I could save an oil sample that came out of that motor with it sitting for as long as it did, only having 2,000 miles on the oil change from a quick lube place, and get that tested as well. Now, what quick lube place? I don't know. There was a Prime, Prime Guard or something filter on it, one of those black with white label said Prime something on the filter. What if we could get that oil tested? Well, we did, and the results came back. The results came back for that before the Shell 5W30 Rotella gas truck formula. So let's take a look at that oil analysis real quick. Richard, thanks for the notes. On averages for the 4.6 liter are based on oil run about 5,000 miles. So this iron reading stands out and shows a lot more steel wear taking place. Sitting for a while typically won't cause metals to read high, so maybe some other situational factor like wear in from work is contributing if the engine has been running well look for trends to provide more insight no contamination was found and 3.4 tbn means active additives weren't used up yet try another one close to this for good comparison on iron so here's what we're looking at 2000 miles on the oil 26000 miles on the vehicle the sample date was 628 2022 the vehicle did not burn oil. If you look at the aluminum, it's good. Chromium, it's good. Iron, really high. It shows there's some kind of wear going on inside the engine, which one of the factors that they didn't take into consideration when I looked at this or when I first got this vehicle is I literally I literally started this vehicle bone dry. You know, I didn't Marvel Mystery Oil, the cylinders before firing it over, I literally just fired it over. So I think some of that aluminum has to do with that. Copper was good. There was plenty of molly left in the system. It was above what the average would, or what the minimum would be, I think. I think they, or should be. Um, so that was still good. Uh, boron. Boron, there was still additive there. A calcium... Uh, phosphorus and zinc were all still pretty decent levels so there was this is six-year-old oil you know and it's still good I know they say it has a shelf life but this still had plenty of additive package left in it six years later let's look down here at the sus viscosity at 210 degrees Fahrenheit it was right in the middle of what the range should be between 46 and 59 it was 54.8 so that's great um, the viscosity at 100, 100 uh, degrees Celsius, 8.71, which again, right in the middle of what it's supposed to be, so that's perfect. Flash point was good. Fuel contamination was good. This is less than 2.0% look at it because it's 0.5. Oil has no a shelf freeze insoluble. And even if you don't uh, hit the mileage, you still the change filter health and quality less than 0.6. It was 0.2, which can just is pretty simply standard. not do its job. And the TBM age, rating was really good. Well, this so, shows six years this is later. A, this like, additive package in this oil is perfectly good. And it's quick lube oil. It's not even like really good high quality oil. I thought that would be fun for you guys to see oil that came from a quick lube place six years later and it's pretty interesting the iron I'm not worried about because the vehicle sat 
I bet you when I fired it up, there was like rust and stuff at the top of those piston rings, and there was probably a little bit of wear to those piston rings when firing it up. The vehicle runs great. I did a relative compression on it. The compression test is phenomenal. There's no wear or anything like that. Engine is super clean. It's the first run of that engine in six years from being just parked. The next oil change or the one after will be the real tall tale of what's going on with it. Right now I'm running Redline 5W30 ester base uh, full synthetic with higher ZD, ZDDP and the engine just runs super quiet, super smooth. I really like this red line. It's very quiet. It's probably right there next to Pennzoil Platinum Ultra, if not better. And you guys know my favorite so far has been Pennzoil Platinum Ultra. It's maybe just a tad bit better than that. I mean, it's, it's smooth. So we'll see when the when we get around to doing that analysis. They told me later today they should have the analysis for the 5W30 Shell Rotella gas truck formula. So she said, look in your email sometime today and it, you'll have your results on that one because that's when it's scheduled to be tested. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day.